Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose's Year of One. I said in last week's video that this week would be a beauty haul. However, something happened this week that kind of threw that a little bit off and I thought this video might be a little more useful um, as a product kind of unboxing and showing because this week I got my first Christmas present. I know lots of people will be like, it's October. And I do have this to show you today because I wanted to do a video with it but then it will go away and I will get it under the Christmas tree but as I'm sure any of you who are beauty enthusiasts will know when limited edition beauty pieces release for Christmas it's best to just secure them as early as possible and the piece that I'm going to unbox with you and go through with you in this video is a really pretty special one. Before we get into it, same disclaimer as last week, this is not modern art, it is a paint swatch testing because I'm in the middle of doing this room over. You may also notice the absence of furniture behind me because we have now cleared out the old furniture so we are in the middle of a bit of a redecoration here so that is what's going on with the background, it's why it's not the most aesthetically pleasing um, of backgrounds but it's a work in progress and you know it is what it is so Let's get on to unboxing this item which is from Dior, it's from their Christmas collection this year. I got mine from the Dior website. The Dior Christmas collection has already started to filter into stores. I have been to two different Boots and to House of Fraser in Glasgow. I spoke to my friend Hong Shen who works at the Fraser's counter. Basically what he told me is that the stuff wasn't due in until the 20th so none of the shops that I've been to have had any testers but what they've had at the moment is the big face palette, um, the bigger sort of eyeshadow palette that's the pan of five in the special edition packaging, um, and then I think the mascara sets and some of the perfume sets. And Hong Shen had the items from the core Christmas collection, is in the core makeup collection, um, but he didn't have testers or a display unit or anything like that yet. So what he told me is that it was due in on the 20th of this month and it's come through just a little early, which is why they didn't have all their testers and all their displays and things yet. Now this item is the lipstick collection. For the last couple of years, I think now Dior have done a sort of lipstick gift where there's been a lipstick and then refills and it's been nicely presented. But this year really has gone a step beyond in that presentation. I kind of thought from the level of how special this item is that it was going to be exclusive to the Dior website. However, when I've been in the shops, um, there have been pictures of it on the top of the display for the face palettes and things this year. Um, it's not been in any of the shops to buy, but the fact that they are putting photographs of it into the display kind of suggests that it will go into the likes of Boots, Fraser's, John Lewis etc. But I got mine from the Dior website and I haven't seen it as much as other things have started to filter through. This particular item hasn't seemed to have arrived in stores yet. But because it's not in stores yet, it obviously makes it quite difficult to try and see. So I watched unboxings of this. So I think it's been out in America slightly longer than it's been out here. It's only just gone live. I have been watching the product page listing for this for ages. It's existed for a few weeks now, but it has only just actually seemed to go into stock and be available to purchase in the last couple of days on the Dior website and this is one of those items where the packaging and the presentation of the item is it's why you're buying it like there's kind of no two ways about it it is about the presentation it's about the beautiful item that you get these lipsticks in it's not really about the lipsticks however of all the unboxings that I've watched, nobody has swatched the lipsticks to actually show you what you're getting in them. As much as, yes, that is not why anybody is buying this item, is for the contents, like it is for the presentation and the packaging. I feel like seeing the lipsticks is still quite valuable, so that's why I thought I would do this video. First of all, let's get into the unboxing of the actual item itself. Just before we start slagging the bow, uh, basically, they had put a bow in it but it was really loose and it kind of slid off when I took this box out of the postage box so um, I did my best to retie it but I've got one really short bit and one really long bit and it is what it is but that was my fault not the people at Dior's so let's 
take my bow off it's the sort of textured Dior box if you guys can see that I'm sure you're all quite familiar with them what I would say is that the Dior Christmas packaging for this year is so beautiful it's quite similar to wait and I will grab it this bag which I got when I bought some shoes when I was in London obviously not Christmas 2020 when we weren't traveling at all but in Christmas 2019 and the packaging for Christmas this year for Dior is similar to this it's not got animals it's just florals but it's this sort of beautiful gold navy blue and white combo I would have liked it had the box been that packaging and um, I'll insert a picture of it actually I've seen it in person in boots so um, I will insert a picture of the packaging and I would have liked it had the box been that packaging but it's just the classic um, Dior embossed box so we've got the sticker which oh. and then this is the actual box with the little box bag in it so again it's just in sort of classic Dior packaging it's not in the Christmas packaging kind of small box smaller than I kind of thought this was going to be from looking online and it's, it's oh look at it oh wow okay so it slides out and it's it's on this tray I wasn't quite prepared to just open it and see it. I was sort of expecting it to be, I don't know, behind more, oh, throwing things away, behind more tissue paper, but, oh, it's beautiful. So it's got the outline of the building on it that's obviously going through the Dior Christmas collection this year. I am so pleased with that. I know we have not even looked at the contents, but let's be real this is the collector's part of this so yeah oh wow okay so what i knocked there was this which is a little chain so it does come with a gold chain i would say the chain is a little sort of thicker than I was maybe expecting it to be which is not necessarily a bad thing it means it's it's probably sturdier but I sort of had expected a slightly finer chain and I feel like the chain is not quite the same shade like the the gold on the the case is a little bit more sort of pale gold and um, the chain's a little more yellow gold so I've just picked it up it's not particularly heavy not in a way that feels flimsy but it's not as heavy as I maybe expected it to be. Yeah, the whole thing actually fits in this dust bag, so there we are, it fits in completely so that you can keep it protected. I mean, I'm going to keep this and keep it in that, but if you weren't so inclined, you do have the little dust bag. So this bit here does come off. I've seen that in other people's videos. So it just slides off at the side there, throwing the lid off, and it clips back in. So it is quite sturdy, you probably don't want to be sliding it on and off all the time, let's be honest, but we'll take it back off so that we can look at it individually. So this little lid has just come off, but it actually, yeah, so if you guys can see, there's a little button here, and then on the inside of the cap there is like a screw bit, so you obviously can screw it, you have to get it in at the right place and then yeah so if you screw it properly the cap doesn't come off so unscrew it back round um, and you've got the CD for Christian Dior on the top of the cap there that has got the first lipstick, the lipstick so this is the case and then the others are all refills for this but again if you guys can see it's got the outline of the building on the cap and actually on the bottom part as well the whole way down the, the bullet it's like the same size etc as a standard Dior lipstick it's just in this sort of special etched bullet so to go back to this so this is the actual lipstick holder as I said it's got the CD on the top and um, it does twist so that the caps not pull off and then you untwist it pull it off as you wish and then it's got the CD 
on either side. It did say online that you can attach these, or this, the chain, the two clips of the chain, and then wear this as a necklace. Now you probably have to be a bit cooler than me to want to do that, but it is an option. And I do really like that the clips at the side are the Christian Dior logo. Definitely feels a cut above usual beauty packaging, even, you know, Christmas limited edition beauty packaging. It definitely feels um, more special than that. To go back to the sort of main compartment, you've got the CD on this side that your chain would clip into, but my only kind of drawback is that you don't have a CD on this side. So if you've taken this off, you can have this on its own. It's got clips on both sides for your chain, but this one, it's only at one side. I did see somebody online who unboxed it, clipped the two into this and then wore it at a sort of angle crossbody, um, which again looks very cool. Um, but I feel like if I ever wear it as a bag, I've never been one to kind of, because I know like quite a lot of the time with beauty packaging, they do sell you and say it's like a clutch as well. And I've never used anything like that in that capacity, but I feel like I would actually use this. I feel like it's such a beautiful um, sort of presentation that I, I would actually take this out with me. On the inside you have a mirror and then you've got your three uh, refills of your lipsticks. You can also take out that insert and then obviously you then have this to use as a bag. So these are what the three little refills look like. Pop that out like that. Then from your main lipstick, it just pulls out. And then you would pop in your refill. And the inside of the cap is red. Anyway, I think that's probably enough for the general unboxing. So let's go on to what the actual lipsticks that you get with it are like. Okay, so first lipstick to swatch is number 466 Pink Rose. This is the satin shade. So it's obviously buildable. Um, it's definitely got a lot of peach through it for something that's called Pink Rose. Okay, so I have nothing on my lips at the moment and I'm going to start with the pink shade. So this is called Pink Rose. It's a satin formula. It looks like quite a sort of pleasingly vintage pink that sort of fits with the overall aesthetic of the piece. So uh, let's do this. I'm not going to use lip liners because I am going to just do all four lipsticks. And um, so just in terms of taking them off, it's a bit easier. So it won't be necessarily the neatest or most perfect application, but it's just to show you guys like the actual colours on the lips and swatched because that's what I feel I've not been able to get from watching any of the existing videos about this product. So, so that is Pink Rose. It's actually quite pretty. I wasn't sure about this shade at all. This is the one this and the burgundy one and I love a burgundy but the metallic thing is throwing me a little bit so those were the two that I was sort of like whatever about um but actually it's it's really nice it's quite a sort of um balmy formula almost it feels really sort of nourishing and moisturizing on the lips so I quite like that actually pleasantly surprised and it's it's not got it's not a really opaque color um you know, you could see that when I was putting it on and when I had it just on my bottom lip. It, it is a colour, absolutely is a colour. Um, but it's very, very natural. It's not... I kind of thought it might be... Um, oh, I don't... I'm trying to think what the word is. That sort of vintage, sort of almost salmon-y pink. You know, very Audrey Hepburn um, 
kind of from the the bullet but I actually I like it more than I would like it if it was that because I don't tend to suit those sort of shades. I feel like it's a bit more neutral, a bit more wearable and I suppose the thing is it is a Christmas gifting item so they're trying to make sure the four shades that are in it are kind of generic and yeah I actually very pleasantly surprised with this. I think I will actually um, get more weight out of this lipstick I think than I thought I would. Pleasantly surprised. So that is number 466 Pink Rose. The second lipstick that we're going to swatch is number 873 Sparkling Peony, which is the metallic shade. So that's it swatched once. And then that's it built up. So it's much, much lighter than you would think it is from the bullet. It's quite um, pinky actually. So I would say again this feels like a really sort of balmy sort of quite nourishing formula. It feels really similar to the satin formula but obviously um, it's the metallic so it's got a bit more of a, a shine to it. I would say the rose one had a shine to it. Um, I am more into a matte lip personally. That's just my taste. Wouldn't have bought this shade as an individual shade. Uh, but it's actually, again, it's prettier than I thought it was going to be. It's not um, it's not frosty, which as soon as I, as I read metallic, I was kind of like, mm, don't know how I feel about that. Um, but it's it's not frosty. It's not like nineties shimmery, like you know, things that made you look a bit embalmed. You know what I mean when you had like frosty lilac shimmer or something from, I don't know number 17 or Boots Natural Collection or something like that. It's a more sophisticated metallic I suppose is appropriately the case here. Like I thought I probably wouldn't suit the pink but I would like the formula and things um, whereas I thought I wouldn't suit this and I wouldn't like it either. Um, but I actually yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't say I love it to the point I would have bought it individually as a colour but it, it's not anything like as sort of offensive as I had in my head that it was going to be. So yeah, no, I actually am actually again pleasantly surprised. I really hope that this continues and then that I really like the two that I expect to really like and it's it's not like the two I didn't think I was gonna love I quite like and then I'm disappointed by the other two. The third lipstick to swatch is number 858 Red Pansy Matte. So that's pretty full from kind of the get go. That's that one built up. I think most of my Dior lipsticks have always been matte. There was the Christmas year that they did and they were like double sided lipsticks and one side was matte and one side was satin but for the most part I always buy matte lipsticks so I'm familiar with this formula. It looks like a very promising colour. So, nice colour. <laughs> I look like um, you know, like in the 1920s when they used to blot out the sides of their mouth and just do the, the cupid bow thing. I really want to like get a lip liner and perfect it and make my lips look even to show this off to its best advantage. Um, but yeah, I love this colour. This is a, uh, this is very me. This is the colour I will get a lot of wear out of. So the Dior Matte Formula, it is matte but it's not a drying matte, it's a very sort of smooth matte. It's certainly nothing like the MAC Matte Formula for example. So I do find even the matte formula from Dior can move a little on me. It is a lipstick that I will be careful with but 
um, it's definitely one that I foresee myself getting a lot of use out of. Very, very comfortable on the lips. That is that shade there. It's lighter than it looks in the bullet, which I would say was the same of the metallic shade. It came off on the lips lighter than it looked. And I would say this is this is the same, is that the lipstick is lighter, but it's not a light lipstick. It's very much a sort of ready brown shade. It's very, very pretty, very vintage. Uh, very appropriate to the case, I would say. So that is number 858 Red Pansy Matte. And the last lipstick that we're going to swatch is number 862 Winter Poppy Velvet. So that is one swipe. On to the fourth and final lipstick. So this is the shade 862 Winter Poppy and this, this is the velvet one. Vaguely surprised Lisa Eldridge hasn't like sued for copyright infringement but it is what it is. It's very Lisa Eldridge. This is the sort of classic red so I feel like the last one was the sort of deeper brownier toned red so this is going to be your classic bright Christmas red. Yep, totally. So this is that sort of pinky leaning red. Quite blue toned. Again, it's lighter than you would think it is from the bullet. but it's very, very pretty. So it's it's definitely a sort of pinky leaning red, um, quite a blue base. It's actually not a sort of, I basically expected this to be Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon, which I will grab and compare actually for you. So you can even see when you put the two bullets next to each other. So this is the Dior one. So you can really see the pink tones in that. And then this is Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon. So you can see, like, especially when you put these next to each other, this is much more of a pinky red. Um, and I really sort of had expected it to be m more in line with Velvet Ribbon. I thought it was going to be a very um, sort of classic Christmas red. I do really like it. It's, um, it's very, very pretty, but it's much pinkier than I expected uh, this lip colour to be Winter Poppy which is the velvet formula if I'm honest kind of feels the same as the matte formula the same way the metallic felt the same as the satin formula it's just the velvet is um you know the the design on the bullet is velvety so you can see the the kind of similarity there between the Dior one and the Lisa Eldridge velvet bullet effect. So yeah, I would say it's pretty much a Dior matte formula, which as I said already is not as matte as a lot of other matte formulas. It's a very sort of non-drying, malleable matte formula. Um, and yeah, it's very, very pretty. But I think the third one that we tried, the, the Red Pansy, I think is actually my favourite of the four lipsticks. But I do very much like this one. I think it's really pretty. So that is the last of the four shades. So those are the four lipsticks swatched. As you guys know from watching my channel, I absolutely love vintage style things. I love Lisa Eldridge's video where she's going through her vintage collection. I love particularly the Dunhill Lighter Compact and something I've wanted for, there are two sort of vintage makeup collectibles that I really want. One is a lipstick carousel, um, so I definitely want one of those at some point. They're a lot of money 
and quite often the ones that you see that come up that are available to buy have you know bits missing or the mechanism's not quite working and if they are a full working order they're like thousands of pounds <laughs> but you know one day I would really like a lipstick carousel and another thing I would like is one of the vintage compacts in the style of the Dunhill lighter that's in Lisa Eldridge's video or I have seen some really cool ones that are like gun shaped which is probably not the one to get in terms of you know if you ever want to try and travel with it probably going to cause an issue but very very cool but one of the ones that does come up a little bit more regularly um, I'll, I'll link some below and you guys can have a look at them but like it's kind of shaped like a camera and the lipstick goes in one end and then it opens up and you've got your powder and whatever and this is so similar to that camera shaped one and um, this, this is basically what the camera ones actually look like now they are makeup compacts whereas this is more um, almost like a little sort of box bag so it's not quite the same thing but it very much ticks the boxes of something that I would really like to own. It really really appealed as soon as I saw this so I think I saw it on the Angel Naked One Instagram account so that's a little bit like Trend Moods but I think she's based in Russia and as soon as I saw this I screenshotted it, sent it to Lauren and was like I'm having that, like I don't care how much it is, I'm having that. And it's so beautiful and I'm so pleased that I own it. It's heavy enough to feel sturdy, it's not heavy item. I'm just, I really wish I could be a little bit more discerning about this. Only complaint that I have is that if you take this bit off, you don't have a clip on this side of the box alone to use it as a bag, so you have to use it with the lipstick. However, having said that, it's obviously such a tiny compartment that you've got that if you put like your credit card, your house key and I don't know, like, I don't know, what whatever else, I don't know what else you would even fit in there next to a credit card and your house key and maybe some change or whatever. Um, so actually having this bit on it to put your lipstick in to touch up with is actually pretty useful. Your phone is definitely not going in here unless you've got like some serious tiny throwback phone. This isn't the newest iPhone, this is from last year, it's the 12 Pro Max I think. Um, so this whole thing is about the same height as my iPhone, it's actually slightly shorter um, but if I put, if I arrange it, so these are at the edge here, the iPhone is actually longer so uh, that just gives you an idea of the, the size for comparison to the phone. So I think that is everything. Um, my memory card has needed to be imported and had things deleted off it every two seconds. Um, so yeah, we've done the unboxing, I've shown you it, I've shown you why I love it. Um, and we've gone through the four lipsticks and I've shown you them all on. So I hope this has been useful if you were considering purchasing this or asking for it as a gift. I am so thrilled to to own it. I think it's so so beautiful. In terms of the four shades, I think I'll actually wear all four of them. I will definitely get the most wear out of uh, the red, the brownie red one. Um, but yeah, none of them are offensive. As you would expect with this kind of thing, they're fairly sort of crowd pleasery shades. Um, you know, obviously everyone will have their favourite, but there's none that are horrendous to look at. So yeah, I'm thrilled to own this. I hope if you decide to get it for yourself that you love it too or I hope even if you don't indulge in buying this for yourself or receiving it as a gift like I have done that you know watching this video has been enjoyable and it's been nice to just hang out and just appreciate this seriously beautiful piece for however long this video has been. So thank you very much for watching, I hope it's been helpful or entertaining or both potentially um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!